The craft beer competition is getting crazy. More than 7,000 U.S. brewers are battling for their share of the nearly $30 billion craft beer industry. And they're constantly coming up with new recipes with unique ingredients to stand out in the crowd. I think it's exciting. I think any time that you add creative elements to a much-loved beverage like beer, um, it's fun. From breakfast beers to dessert beers, many new brews are innovative. Others are odd. And some sound kind of gross. We're grilling buffalo testicles this morning for our Rocky Mountain Oyster Stout. It's pretty popular. We get a lot of travelers from all over that uh, have heard about it and would like to try it. Some of the weirdest beer around was available for tasting here at the annual Strange Brew Festival in Reno, Nevada. Beer aficionados are always looking for the next thing, like the next new thing, and that's where I think that's where, where your sours and your really hoppy triple IPAs and your really eclectic uh, uh, craft brews come from. Some of the more eclectic beers here included a mac and cheese ale. And it's delicious. It literally smells like my childhood. A steak and onion Kolsch. You can definitely taste the onion. You get a little bit of that, that uh, Worcestershire sauce in the back. And a brew made with sushi. It's shockingly good, actually. <laughs> it's got a hint of ginger, wasabi, and a little bit of lemongrass. One brewer who made a chipotle pepper beer for the festival, says experimentation is important, but the bottom line for longevity is it has to taste good. It's got to make you want another one. If it doesn't, then it's just gimmicky and you're going to be out of the spotlight pretty fast. In this competitive beer landscape, consumers can decide what stays and what goes by putting their money where their mouth is. Literally, in the case of this beer, made with real bits of dollar bills. Haven Daily, Associated Press.